Okay, so I'll be using two eight-inch boss sounds. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna make a front cover to flush mount this the driver, to make it look a bit more nicer and tidier. So we can flush mount the driver. So this is the panel that goes over. It also covers the overlapping of the MDF, if you guys can see. Then we're gonna put an edge all the way across there, a 45 edge all the way across. Okay, so that's gonna be that. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna mark the out cut of this ring for the uh, for the 18 driver. Uh, same we're gonna do there. That's the repeating part there. You guys can see. Those two are the side panels, just the out, out section marking so you know exactly where your inner section of the transmission line ends and starts. Okay, so you guys can see here, that's where it ends on the line, of course. Alright, so we're going to do that now. Uh, I'm also going to start cutting this panel up now. I'm going to route the two panels and I'm going to run the cable. I'll be using this cable straight across the top section of what's over here and back down on this burn and bring that down and it should end about there. Okay, so they're going to be where the speaker terminal is going to be. The insert's done already, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to route all the out, out edge. That's it done. As you can see. Okay. So I'm going to route it already, so you see the smooth corner, so it's done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, leave that out right. And then we go back to it again, because uh, finish is the second part of it. Push over this. I'm going to glue this cable straight to the box that's all to keep it flat in there. So, what I'm doing, I'm going to keep it a bit of slack around here. So, say probably about 5 inches or 6 inches somewhere around there. So, we get 5 6 inches. Okay, I'm going to start applying the glue. Alright, make sure you stick this back a bit forward there. Activators here. Make sure you use the activator. So I'm going to do is bring that down there. Put a bit of activator on it. That should dry up in a few seconds. So glued to the side of the panel all the way down and that's where it's going to end. It's going to have the speaker turn the points about here. Okay, so I left the cable stacked there and then we're going to start on this side now. Alright, both transmission line cables actually in. Okay, move the cables inside the box. Both sides are exactly the same. Okay, so what we've done is we marked the holes for the Terminal point. Okay. Okay, so these are going to go in. Okay. Right, there's an inch in between each space there, so we're going to do the same on each side.
Okay, so now I've done uh, the ring terminals on it. So all I want to do is put a nut and bolt on each side and get that part done. As you guys can see on this side. You guys, you see there? It's perfect. There's no, there's no slack whatsoever in it. Uh, that's how you want the cable to be if you look kind of here. Okay? So I'm going to do now. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this bolt up and move on to the next step. Okay, so now it's all cleaned up. Uh, I've got the 45 angles just around the bottom and the edges. So, anyway, it's all cleaned up. If you guys can see the speaker terminals all being put in, cables in, both sides. The next step I'm going to do now is I'm going to seal it all up. Uh, I'm going to put the top panel on. As you can see here, I'm going to mark the whole panel so you know the outside. So, this panel comes on the outside so you know exactly where the T line ends. So, you can put the screw in here. Okay, so this is where the core of is. Okay, guys, so it's all glued up now. Uh, now, what I want to do is put the top panel on it, spread a bit more glue on top on the sides, and then it's ready uh, for the next step. So I'm doing this on a. As uh, you guys can see, the transmission line is ready for the final panel to go on. Okay, okay guys, so that's all the screws uh, put in. Another thing I'll do next is to screw it all down. There's quite a lot of screws there, as you guys can see. Okay, so I'm going to screw it out. So literally, there's two inch gap in between each other. Once I screw this all down, uh, once it dries and settles, I'll remove all the screws and flush it all up and then paint the whole box. Uh, you don't need a screw in the box after you finish uh, once the glue settles because um, the glue is uh, strong enough to hold the bond with the wood so the screws can be removed soon, soon after it dries okay that's it there two of them are screwed down next thing we've got to do let me put this down here for a second and turn this side like so okay so what we're going to do next after once the glue Set that one clean off, get this top baffle to go on top. That's this whole real ice hole. Okay. Yeah. Well, in case you see there, that's my transmission line from the cover. Uh, it's just so I can kind of sync this up so it looks a bit nicer. Okay, that's the transmission line, and they're completed. Okay, what we do now is I'm going to get the DA machine. I'm going to sand the face down, clean it all up, and then, uh, and then um, I'm going to put the top face on. So that's all sanded down nice and smooth, okay? That's put on, I'm happy with that. Okay, as you can see the two panels, the two sections of the front face of the transmission line is sanded down. So I DA that all down smoothly, so if you guys can see here. Okay, so uh, put the, apply the glue to it, and all I've got to do now is flip it over and bond it to the face of the transmission line. Uh, I'm going to spread the glue around, get a paste and spread it around. Like one of these that you get with uh, when you get fiberglass or filler, just spread the glue around. That's all. Okay, see, so yeah, that's what it took to spread that. So, you guys can see, okay, I'm going to stop that now, just spread it around like that, and then what I do is I'm going to bond it to the bottom baffle. Okay, guys, uh, if you guys can see here, uh, once I feel all done over there. Screw it down, so what I do is 
I'm gonna spread that glue around and then run that one down and then uh, that's it. And then I'm gonna lay it all down. I'm gonna go give it 45 angles all the way across the bottom. Okay, so what I'm doing is uh, I sand it, the air all the down already, it's all sand down smooth. So the next thing we're doing now is gonna, gonna give a flare on the back. Okay, so I rattled that already. You guys can see, okay. I just literally rattled out the mouth to give a nice little flare. Okay, that's done. Okay guys, if you guys can see now, the two transmission lines are actually completely finished. What I've got to do next is give it a 45, right of 45 corners all the way around. Basically the top, straight down to the bottom. Uh, and it's done. Okay guys, there's the transmission line. Okay, if you guys can see on the back of the transmission line. Okay. Right this. I'm going this one around the side. Show you. Um, just got to do a few more bits to it and then happy days. Uh, I should have this playing by Friday. Um, I'm looking to paint it as well. I'm not too sure what colour I'm going to paint it yet, but for now it's going to be like this. So uh, just going to give the edge a little rattle first and that's it. And that's finished for there. Okay, so enjoy.